guys. Uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert a scaled variable uh, into a categorical variable uh, using some Excel functions. Uh, in this case, the scaled variable that I have um, is salary. Okay, So it's a list of people's salaries. Uh, actually, in this case, I have 20 people's salaries. You could have more than that. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to uh, figure out what category okay these particular salaries fall into with respect to a previously defined set of categories. And here's my categories here. Okay, uh, let's just call this. This is this is cat one. This is cat two. This is cat three. Cat four and cat five. So I have five categories. Uh, they're defined by lower bounds and upper bounds. Uh, if you fall into category one, it means that you earn at least 20,000 euros. So you could earn 20,000 euros, uh, but up to 30,000 euros, but not including 30,000 euros. If you fall into category two, you earn at least 30,000 euros uh, and up to 40,000, but not 40,000. So the convention here is inclusive of the lower bound, excluding the upper bound. And what I want to do is I want to take all these values here in this particular list and figure out which category they're actually going to fall into. Now, the more categories you have, the more, uh, let's say, replications we're going to have to perform. So really what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to figure out who's in category 1, who's in category 2, category 3, category 4, and then the last final category, category 5. Okay, And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use an Excel function, uh, which is going to test whether these specific values okay, are within this particular range. And in particular, we're going to test if this value is greater than or equal to the lower bound and less than the upper bound. The important word that I'm using here is we're going to test if, first of all, we're going to test if these values are greater than or equal to the upper bound, lower bounds and less than the upper bound. So another key word is and. So I'm going to use two functions in Excel. I'm going to use the if function and I'm going to use the and function. Okay. So what I want to do here is this is I'm going to call the if function for my first cell. I want to know whether this value here is in category one. So the function I'm going to call is called if. I'll make this a little bit bigger on the screen here so you can actually see this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say this is equal to if open bracket and you can see actually what happened when I opened up the bracket here it's asking for a logical test okay the logical test being uh, to test whether this whether whether this particular value here is within these particular bounds or not okay and you can see then it'll take a comma followed by the test value the value if true in this case we're going to put in one for category one uh, followed by the value of false so we're going to put in zero meaning it's not a uh, category one Okay. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the AND function to test whether the value is greater than or equal to this 20,000 euros. So I'm going to say AND, open round bracket, and if, if this value here is greater than or equal to this value here, okay, if that's the case, uh, well then I'm halfway to knowing that it's in the first category. But also I'd like to test to see whether this value here is spe specifically less than this particular upper bound here. So that's my AND function done. That's the logical test completed. Okay, uh, It's going to test whether the, the value in F4, which is 48,195, is greater than or equal to the lower bound and less than the upper bound, and that's where the AND function is coming in. And comma, if that's true, and you see what's that happening here, the value if true, if that's true, I want to put in a 1. If it's false, I want to put in a 0. And that's the, that's that's effectively the function. Okay? But because this is all for category 1, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this function down this particular column. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix the comparison. So I'm going to fix, uh, I'm going to fix this to be let's say dollar, oops, I don't know what happened here. Let me go back in here. I'm gonna fix this to be dollar F4, dollar B4, so that's not gonna change. Uh, actually, 
to be honest, what I need to really do here is I do want I do want F4 to change. I want that to be relative reference because I'm going to drag this down. But I don't want B4 to change. I want that to be fixed. So I'm going to put that in brackets, sorry, in dollar signs to make it fixed. And also C4, which is the upper bound, I'm going to keep in brackets as well. And I'm going to hit return. And you can see what we have is we have a zero here indicating that 48,000 is not in between 20 and 40,000 euros. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on this here. And what we can actually see here is there's only one value in this list, which is 24,500 that falls within category one. And then I'm going to do the next category. I'm going to say this is equal to if, okay? And once again, what we're going to have, let me actually just get rid of that here for a moment. Let me just move this over a bit, okay? Let's move this over here. What I'm going to say is this is equal to if, and we're going to do the and, okay? And, and what? If this value here is greater than or equal to the lower bound, comma and this value is also less than the oh actually i need to do the second category so if it's if let's do that again the and is if this value here is greater than or equal to the second lower bound and if this value here is less than the upper bound uh, what i'm going to do is going to put in a two to indicate the second category otherwise i'm putting in a zero okay and what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to keep the, the references to the lower and upper bounds, make them absolute by wrapping them up in dollar signs. Okay, so they're now absolute references. And there we go. We can see 48,000 is not between 30 and 40,000. Let's double click on this cell here to apply this formula all the way down this particular column. So I'm going to double click. And as you see, it's correctly identifying that 30,729 30, euros is between... 40 and 40,000 so it does fall into category two okay I continue with the same process now I'm going to say here is if open bracket and okay if this value here is greater than or equal to the the third the third uh, lower bound okay and if this value here is specifically less than the third upper bound I want to put in a tree Otherwise, I want to put in a zero. The three indicating you're in category three. The zero indicating you're in category zero. Or you're not in category three. So you can see actually that 48,000 is in this particular category here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this all the way down that column. Finally, what we have is, the, well, not finally, the second last, the second last category is if, and let me just move across here, if and, open bracket, if this value here is greater than or equal to the fourth category, which is B7, uh, and if this value here, if this value here is less than the fifth, the fourth, sorry, the fourth upper bound, uh, well then what I want to do is, uh, this this is actually scrolling across here because uh, uh, because of the size, the size of the size of the font being used, I'm going to put in category four. Otherwise, I'm going to put in a zero to indicate it's not in that category. And similarly, like the others, I'm going to wrap the, the, the lower bounds and upper bounds in dollar signs to make them absolute references. Okay, so now it'll apply all the way down this particular it'll apply all the way down this this particular column of values. So you can actually see that 51,803 is in category four because it falls between 50 and 60,000. And then the final category here is this is equal to if we're going to say and well if this value here is greater than or equal to I could actually hard code in 50,000 uh, and if this value here is less than is less than uh, 60,000 uh, well then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a five otherwise I'm going to put in a zero and I can hit return on that and what you can see is zero goes in here I apply it all the way down the column and you can see that of oh maybe that's wrong is it it's actually the final category is one two three four is sixty to seventy thousand okay so actually what I need is this should be sixty thousand up to seventy thousand uh, I'll put in category five uh, so there we go and now if I apply that formula down I get there's only one value or two values here that are between that are within that range the key point here is this is that every salary only falls into one category and the category it falls in is listed so if I actually now say overall category okay and actually just sum up them rows so this is equal to the sum 
uh, from G through to K. What that'll do is it'll sum the rows. It'll sum the actual category along with zero values, along with zero values, and that will be the actual category that that's the that the, the the value falls within. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that down the column, and now you can actually see that we have we have our categories uh, identified. Uh, why did forty three thousand not come true here? Forty three thousand should have fallen into category three. Let's just check category three out here. And you can actually see that I didn't have the columns as absolute values. So what I need to do is change them to absolute values, uh, absolute references. And let me apply that down again. Okay. So everything should be absolute references. Okay. Absolute. They're all absolute references. Okay. They're all absolute references now. And now what we have is we have uh, everybody's category down here. So now what I probably would do is I take these values. Uh, and I will take these out of here. These are the categories and put them into SPSS. Uh, uh, obviously, line them up with the proper the, 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 the cases that these salaries actually have, have, have been associated with. That's if we are doing a further analysis. But basically, what we have now is we know actually the categories, uh, or we've categorized this particular scaled variable uh, based on uh, five categories that we had predefined. Okay, guys, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this short video, uh, I hope that this short video was in some way helpful. Uh, I hope it was intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.